Hi, I'm Katie and I'm going to give you an overview of the materials you'll need for linoleum block printing. There are really a wide variety of tools that can be used, so I'm going to show you a few options to get started. These are linoleum blocks. They range from a hard to a soft and a mounted and an unmounted, and this is what you're going to use to cut your design out of. Use the hard blocks if you want fine superficial detail. The soft blocks are easier to cut and give you deep bold lines. The bench plate is a great safety tool to keep your blocks in place as you cut. The tools used for cutting the blocks each have a different purpose so that you can cut fine lines or large negative spaces. And ink is available in either an oil or a water-based formula. Water-based inks dry quickly and are easy to clean with water, while oil-based inks give you a longer working time and require solvents for cleanup. For inking plates, all you really need is something totally flat and non-porous and large enough to accommodate your inking brayer. You can also use the metal or veneered bench plates for inking. You'll need two brayers, a soft one for inking and a harder one to burnish your paper onto your block, or you can also use a barren. As for paper, really anything can be used. It comes down to personal preference. Papers are made with a varieties of textures, weights, and colors. And keep in mind that highly textured paper will not pick up all the fine detail and may not get all the surface when printing. You'll also want to have some test paper, but something really inexpensive will do. All of these materials I've shown you and more are available on the Blick website.